Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed for your time today. And uh, just to bring you up to date on what's happening in regards to the disaster management uh, situation that is uh, still going on in Queensland. I can advise that uh, flood levels continue to rise in Rockhampton. Uh, we are predicting a peak tomorrow of uh, 19.4, as has been widely reported. And uh, we're also anticipating uh, some peaks uh, down in Thallon on Saturday of about 5.3. Uh, metres and St George of uh, 14. Now I, I know from the bomb uh, site, the Bureau of Meteorology site, that they say to expect peaks uh, slightly higher than that experienced in March 2010. The water levels still remain uh, around Dirrambandi and uh, Surat has a peak passing through there now and uh, Theodore, the water levels are starting to drop. This is a prolonged flooding event in Queensland and uh, it is uh, unlikely to recede in the very near future and uh, we expect that uh, the, uh, once the peaks have been reached in, a, in and around a lot of these centres that the waters will remain high, that is uh, about major flood levels, uh, for some days after that event. Resupply still remains a focus uh, for Rockhampton and uh, we understand that uh, the Bruce Highway northbound is open and that resupply from Mackay is being provided to uh, Rockhampton in that regard. There are assessment teams uh, entering Theodore uh, to make assessment of the safety and also the hygienic conditions in the uh, town and uh, again those assessment teams will, uh, the feedback from those assessment teams will actually uh, go a long way to determining uh, when residents can actually return. The, um, there's also uh, a message that uh, we uh, would like to get out that uh, it doesn't take much water for people walking, walking in flooded waters that are flowing to actually knock people off their feet. And it doesn't take much water to move a vehicle from a causeway or a road, again, where there is water across the road that is flowing. And we would remind motorists to be extremely diligent uh, and to obey road close signs and not to take unnecessary risks. And where water is across the road, not to drive on that road. We continue to uh, move water into Dolby to support the Dolby community. The Dolby community uh, are applauded for their efforts in reducing the water consumption and uh, the progress in actually addressing that, uh, the water issues in Dolby are well progressed. If uh, people do require assistance in relation to clean-up, extra supplies of uh, cleaning uh, materials are being uh, placed into these centres and we do encourage people to contact their local disaster management group. Now in regards to the uh, levels of water experienced in and around St George, I can advise, and I've spoken with Australian Defence uh, Force today, that they are pre-positioning pre uh, two Navy Sea King helicopters to uh, Roma and we thank the Australian Defence Force for their assistance. This provides greater capacity in that area for reach back should the need require and uh, again they'll be working very closely with uh, the Disaster District Management Group and also the local Disaster Management Group. I'd now like to pass to uh, Warren Britson who is the Acting Assistant Director General of EMQ for any comments. Thank you Alistair. Thank you very much and good afternoon. A couple of issues I'd like to bring to your attention this afternoon and one is a lot of good news in that uh, we're arranging now for 30 extra state emergency service volunteers from Victoria to come up to Queensland and we're planning to deploy those volunteers into Theodore where there's a need for assistance with the people moving back to their homes. The other issue is we're working very closely with the Rockhampton Local Disaster Management Group but also the Australian Retailers Association and helping them smooth the way to get uh, restocking into Rockhampton. Uh, you heard the superintendent say that the road to the north is open, uh, but that was a very slow way, so now we're helping uh, the Retailers Association by working with other government departments to make the way uh, more smooth to use barges out of Gladstone into Roslyn Bay. So that's happening and uh, the uh, retailers in Rockhampton are restocking their shops by that method. Um, we're also arranging some resupply into uh, Jericho, a small town which has run out of groceries, and uh, the government has asked us to look at how we can get some supplies from Brisbane into Jericho, and, and EMQ is doing that at the moment. Thank you. If I have any questions that uh, anyone may have. Um, when will those um, SES volunteers come? 
when are they sort of coming now? Or yes. Uh, not today. Yeah. Uh, we're working with Victoria, so by the time we arrange their flights, we expect them to be here probably uh, tomorrow evening mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully the next day into Theodore. But we're progressing that as quickly as possible because people want to move back to Theodore in the very near future. What that allows for? Uh, their jobs will be happy, helping people to return to their homes by cleaning the homes, helping them uh, take out of the homes things that have been destroyed, and we will be assisting, or they will be assisting, people who need assistance. Many people are able to do it themselves, others aren't. So would that, we. Sorry. Sorry. You're right? Would, would, that, would that allow the Venice here volunteers to, to, to take the break? Um, this is extra resources that were required, but of course we're having a fatigue management program in place, and it will allow. It, it won't necessarily allow the people around Theodore SES to have a break, but it will allow us to have others have a break rather than deploy them into Theodore. So how many people from interstate are working or will be working by the end of the year? Oh, well, 30 from Victoria. We currently have five disaster management specialists in the room with us now from Victoria. Uh, we're getting four from New South Wales and we believe we're getting six from New Zealand. So it's a matter of bringing people in as they're required. We saw a need for Theodore. We took up Victoria's offer. No, not from interstate. We put our own people into Dolby. Are you still having problems with people going into the floodwaters? Thank you very much indeed. Um, look, in relation to the floodwaters, we understand that people uh, are keen to return home. And uh, again, with reports of uh, diminishing water levels in various parts of the state, um, some people uh, may decide and uh, take the opportunity to travel home. What we're saying to people is, is that just because one section of the road is clear doesn't mean to say that the whole section of the road is clear. And so uh, what we're saying to people is if the road has water across the road, please do not drive on the road that is flooded. There are washouts. There have been a number of reported cases. There was a case... Uh, last week in the uh, Western Darling Downs where a four-wheel drive driving in 300 mils of water suddenly ended up to the roof in water and it places uh, at uh, grave risk the occupants of that vehicle in getting out of the vehicle uh, and uh, it's something that we're very mindful of. There have been 10 deaths associated with the event uh, and we do not want any more. 10 deaths, just to clear something up, includes the guy that's still missing from the thing you told us I believe so, about. yes. Has there only been the latest on that, that search? Um, no, I don't have the latest, sorry, no. Just uh, Jericho, how, how big is Jericho and what sort of, how are you going to get the groceries or whatever back into there? Well, at the moment, the road to Jericho, I believe, although is open, is still subject to uh, significant damage. And uh, I believe that those, uh, those resupplies will be taken in uh, by vehicle. Is that correct? Yeah, thank you. By vehicle uh, to Jericho. From where, do you know? From Brisbane. Do you know when? Well, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Okay. And we're talking sort of a lot of stuff? No, no, just essential supplies. Mm -hmm. The grocery shop in Jericho have been speaking to the proprietor and they've actually out of the essential supplies. So that's what we'll probably do. Probably a pallet and we'll put it on a freight truck tomorrow. Um, can you tell us a bit more about the barges out of Gladstone? Uh, yes, we've currently got two barges in operation. Uh, they're transporting, uh, ascent, well, they're transporting all of the goods that Woolworths and, Rock and uh, Coles and IGA require in Rockhampton. Uh, they're also backloading pineapples, so that issue is being, in some way, solved. So there's two 24-foot barges currently being used, and we're just helping them to access two other larger barges than 24-meter barges. Right? So they're going from Gladstone to Rockhampton, Ro Roslyn Bay, yeah, and then on the way back they bring the pineapples out. Yes. And when will the two extra barges join that? Um, that's up to the Australian Retailers Association. They're hiring them. It's not, we're not doing that. We're just smoothing the way through Marine Safety Queensland and Department of Transport for them to actually use the facility. When did they start? When was that, those two barges? Today. That's today. Yes. Did you say um, Brian before with the Navy Sea? Yes, I did, yeah. The pre-positioning uh, pre of uh, two uh, Navy seeking helicopters from Australian Defence Force. How many pineapples? Uh, 
Mm, there's a there's a quantity. I'm not sure what that quantity is, but it was quite significant. Any other questions? Can you just start uh, by mentioning about the, the water situation in Golden Water? Can you go into more detail? I don't have a great deal of detail in that regard. Um, the probably the local uh, disaster management group is the one for that detail. But uh, what I am advised is that the supply of water in Dolby is uh, keeping up with the demand, and that's why we thank the people of Dolby for their good work in reducing their consumption of water from their normal rate to what is uh, level six. And that is a huge effort by that community, and we do thank them for their understanding and their patience in that regard. How prepared would we be if there were another event in the next week or so? Well, I would say to you that... Um, the disaster management system has been uh, around for some time now. It is uh, prepared all the time to manage disasters. If we got another one, uh, if we had another event, I would say to you that we are well prepared. We are actually up and running and that uh, you know we don't have to start because we're already started and uh, we're in different phases of the recovery. So the prevention and preparedness, the planning that's been done by local governments has been outstanding. It's really helped uh, pave the way for what has been a... Uh, has been a, uh, a long road in response and will be an even longer road in recovery. The, the recovery part to this is, going to be, is not going to be small. It is still going to be ongoing. And as we've uh, been advised, some of those floodwaters will remain uh, for some period of time. So uh, I would say to you that we are prepared uh, because we're currently looking at uh, about half the state as we speak. So, yeah. Just how successful has the airlift been from the RWF to Amberley? Oh, look, the reports that we've had has been very successful, as I indicated yesterday. It's really important that we uh, marry up need against what we lift into the communities. So we are listening very closely to what local governments and also what disaster management groups are saying to us. And uh, my understanding is that uh, the airlift yesterday was, uh, was good and that uh, yeah, the, the resupply issue is something that we're paying very close attention to. But resupply, as I said yesterday, is not just about essential food items into some communities, but it's also about cleaning and uh, other, other uh, uh, equipment that will assist them in returning uh, their homes to, uh, to a livable state. Is there an issue with uh, fuel in Rockhampton? Um, I'm advised no, not at this time, and uh, I uh, think that if there was going to be any issues there that probably the local uh, disaster groups would be the best ones to place that comment. But as of the reports, that has not been raised as an issue for Rockhampton. Thank you very much indeed.